Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox, and today I'm going to give you an overview of Fortresses and Clans. This is a prototype, so this is a game by Romain Gachet and published by Red Joker. It will be funded via Kickstarter really soon, so watch out. This is a tactical drafting game for two players only, ages 12 and up, and it plays for 40 minutes to an hour. So in this game, what you try to do is uh, take your clan, lay out your armies, and you try to bust the, uh, the opponent's fortress and hopefully capture uh, his clan lord. So what you do is first you try to breach his fortress by destroying the walls of his fortress and once you have two breaches you can lead a final assault and try to capture that um, clan lord by uh, breaching into the keep here. So um, you do that through a certain number of actions and you're going to draft army cards which are very important. So you get uh, troop cards and also siege engines. So the troops are going to make the assault and the siege engines are going to weaken the overall structures. Um, the game has a few, um, a few very special uh, components. So for example, there is this time track here. So the time track will decide um, who goes first, who attacks and defends, but also will serve as a currency. You're going to spend time to activate your units. Also, we, we have quite an asymmetrical game with those uh, clan cards, which all, they are all different. And uh, they are different from our opponents and give us some special powers and some special tactics to play with. So uh, the game flow is very simple. Uh, first, we are going to assess who is the active player, so the, uh, the attacker and the defender. And the active player is the one that's uh, the first, the lowest on, on the time track. So for example, here it's blue. So red would draw six cards, uh, choose one, so six army cards, you choose one as red, so for example this one, and then um, blue would get the, the remainder of the hand, select three cards and lay them out on the board. So you would align the, um, uh, the, the troop symbols with the troop cards and uh, the siege engine cards with the siege engine symbols, very simply. So I might do, for example, so I'm going to take archers, soldiers and a ballista. So I'm going to lay them out here because I want to make a big assault. So there we are. And then once we have done this, the defending player will put his card out. So he has a nice tactical advantage and has protectors. Hmm, how nice of him. So then the active player will play a clan card to activate either a line or a row. And you can activate uh, cards, uh, well, lines or rows, only if there is no clan card uh, on it. So you're going to, for example, in this case, I'm going to play, hmm, I'm going to play Herbert Ray. And this one has a, a special ability. It allows me to draw a card and to lay it out on my side of the board. So for example, I get to, to have one extra soldier, which is nice because I'm going to make a bigger assault on this fortress. Then I would have to decide what units to activate because I can activate any units I want in this, in this row. So for example, I have four units. I can spend up to four time units to activate any of th those units. So for example, I want to make a big assault. I'm going to uh, spend one, two, three, four uh, units and I know uh, 10 units to activate everything and then I know that a uh, red player is going to be attacking me in the next round and this is very important. Then we have um, an assault phase which is made of basically two things. First, the uh, siege engines shoot, in this case the ballista shoots and it weakens the opposing wall by putting a damage token. Then all of my activated uh, foot units make an assault on the uh, opposing wall and you compare strengths and the strength of the units uh, depends on the powers of the units and um, when they match they are discarded and also they might have some special powers so you have archers that kill units off you have defenders that have more power symbols if, if they defend you have officers that bolster other troops or standards that allow you to change the battlefield and your fortress so then if you kill the enemy units, uh, you, you will have uh, damage tokens to put. And if you exceed the resistance of, of that keep, of that, sorry, of that wall, um, you're going to flip it and destroy any, um, any siege engines that were on top of it because you destroyed the wall, right? You can still put troops on that, um, on that wall, but the assault continues and 
uh, you might want to continue assaulting and, and trying to destroy that wall, the, the further uh, wall. If you manage to make two breaches and then um, get, to, get to the final assault, get to the final keep, you're going to try to get um, the, the, the Castellan into your home and hopefully win the game. Well, you know almost everything there is to know about fortresses and clans, so bye-bye and see you on Ludovox.